Bakaram's Medical Coding Academy is the final destination to hone your skills. Training is imparted by the All India Topper of AAPC who is Certified Complaints Officer and Medical Auditor and past speaker of Chennai Chapter. Hi friends, welcome to Dr. Ram's Medical Coding Academy's free session on this basic medical coding training. Today, we are going to see the prefix portion of this medical terminology. Our first class on medical terminology is already over. Now we are going to see the colors that are being used in medicine. So here we are going to see the prefixes that indicate the color. Okay. So we all know about Chrome. We know, we commonly we know about this uh, Google Chrome. Uh, so this should come to your mind. A chrome meaning color. Yes, the word chrome actually means color. Okay. So let's go to the first thing as chromosome. This is the first medical term that we are going to see now, which is chromosome. Chromo means color and soma means body, which means the color body. I hope you all of us know what a chromosome is. This is the structure that carries the genetic material from one generation to the next, which is present in the nucleus of the cell. So chromosomes are paired structures and which remain a constant for every species. So any such variation would result in a mutation. As we have seen, we are just going to break the words into a prefix and then the main word or the root word and then the suffix. Here our topic is mostly centered on the color portion of the prefix. Next, coming down the line is the next color which is black. To indicate black, we would say that as a melano. Okay. So what are the terms that you can coin with a melano? There is also one another term called as a nigra that means black. So we know the race is a negroid race or the black population. Okay. So I have formed a medical word with the word or with the prefix melano, which is melanoma. Melanoma, you can break down that as melanin plus oma. Here melanin, you know, it is a pigment. It is a dark pigment which is present in the skin that protects us from the harmful ultraviolet radiations and oma means tumor. So melanoma, it is a cancerous state which occurs or you can say that as a kind of a skin cancer that primarily occurs in the pigment producing cells of the human body. With the word nigra, we also see there's a condition called acanthosis nigra where there occurs a black discoloration in the skin folds of the human body. Next color that we are going to see is white, which is called alba or leuco. We all know these are all Greek and Latin. Okay, so the Greek word meaning alba is white. So you have albinism. So I have coined a medical term called as albinism. It is an inherited disease condition where there is a mutation in the color or the pigmentation producing genes. So where the person becomes white. Okay. So this is called albinism. Ism means a state which is a suffix. And then we have this leukocyte because leuco also means white. Cyte refers to the cell. So leuco refers to the white cell or the white blood cell or the leukocyte. Next is the evergreen color, which is the green. So we say that as chloro. I hope you all know what a chlorophyll is. Plants have the green pigment in their leaves called as chlorophyll. Phyll refers to the leaf and chloro refers to the green or the green pigment. So let's frame a medical term with the prefix chloro, which is chloremia. This is a state in which there is excess chloride salt in the human body. This can also occur as a result of chlorine poisoning. So you can break the words into chloro plus emia or chlorine plus emia refers to the blood condition. 
Our next color is erythro or which is red. It's also called as erythomo or rubro or rhodo. Here if you see the word erythro is again a Greek term that means red. So we have that red cell in the body that gives the red color to our blood, right? Because the color of the blood is because of the red blood cell because the red blood cell has a pigment called as a hemoglobin. Heme is in turn made up of heme plus globin and iron containing protein part. So hemoglobin of the blood gives the actual red color to the blood. So cells that contain hemoglobin are red in color and therefore we call the red blood cell as the erythrocyte. Erythro means red, cyte means cell. A condition in which there is excessive red blood cell in the blood, you can frame a medical term out of it which is called erythrocytosis. Means erythro meaning red, cyto meaning cell, cis meaning condition. So it's a state or a condition in which there is excessive red blood cells in the blood. We move on to the next color which is blue as you know it's called cyano. Cyanosis. Now there is a medical term called a cyanosis. You can break down that as cyano plus esis or cis. It is a condition in which there occurs blue pigmentation of the body. You know when this condition takes place, it takes place when there is incomplete oxygenation of the blood or when the oxygen levels in our blood are not at the normal level. So that would result in a condition called a cyanosis. So we have like central cyanosis and peripheral cyanosis and this could indicate a variety of medical conditions. Primarily it is because of a respiratory insufficiency or low level of oxygen saturation in the blood. After blue we see a yellow. Yellow means a jondo xanthoflavo. Okay, so this prefix if you have a term with a jondo. So most of us know jaundice. Hey, your eyes are yellow, your skin is yellow. Please check for jaundice. See if your urine is yellow. Please check for jaundice level. I think you are having a jaundice. So jaundo literally means a yellow. We said like xantho also means yellow. There is a condition called xanthomatosis or xanthoma. You can break down the word as xantho plus hematosis. Here what happens is there occurs proliferation of this lipid cells which are yellow in color. Okay, so that state is called as xanthomatosis. Our next color is rose or pink, eosino, eosin. We say is eosin solution or eosin, right? So eosin means pink or the rose color and we have like uh, eosinophils. Eosinophils, these are again a type of white blood cells. They are called as a granulocyte. So this particular blood cell has granules in its cytoplasm. You know, you might have heard of many people saying, doctor, I'm allergic to this particular thing. You know, I develop too much of adverse effect. I'm so, you know, idiosyncratic or allergic. So when you see such people who often suffer from allergic rhinitis or any sort of other allergy, you can sense like you can find that in their blood report on the hematology report, there occurs more amount of eosinophils. Because eosinophils, there's an excessive amount of eosinophils result in a condition called eosinophilia. So that predispose a person to all such allergic reactions. After yellow comes the color orange or we would say as a tawny yellow or the orange. Okay, here if you see it's termed the medical word for orange or tawny yellow is siro. Siro, there is a medical term that I can frame called cirrhosis. Siro plus cis. This is a condition in which 
there occurs scarification and degeneration of the liver parenchyma. Cirrhosis of liver is a life-threatening condition okay, in which the liver takes an orange peel-like appearance and scar tissues are formed in the liver. So this can even account for the end-stage liver disease. Cirrhosis refers to the orange-like condition that can cause scarification and degeneration. Next comes a color which is purple and medically we term that as purpura or porphyra. So there is a condition called as purpura which is a kind of a hemorrhagic disorder of the skin. There occurs you know, thin hemorrhages in the skin epithelium or in the integumentary layer. So that we call that as purpura. This is derived from the color purple. We all might have heard about uh, poliomyelitis, right? Polio. Polio means gray color. What happens? Where is this gray color? You know, if you see this uh, nervous system especially or the brain, there are two types of tissue called as the gray matter and the white matter. So I am going to break down this word as polio plus milo plus itis. Polio means gray matter, Milo means spinal cord and itis means inflammation. So now you will have to understand each of these components which is gray matter, Milo refers to spinal cord and itis refers to inflammation. So this is a condition that causes inflammation of the gray matter of the spinal cord the more and more you ascend in this knowledge of medicine. Okay, so let's see some pathological conditions that are associated with color. Here we have an example as color blindness. You know what color blindness is? You can see the picture where a normal person or a person with a normal vision can see these colors as of on the top. Whereas a person with a color blindness where he does not recognize a certain colors. Say we have colors like red and green, the person is not able to differentiate or identify such colors. So that is we call it as color blindness. There are various types as nyctalopia, deuteranopia, protonopia. Okay, so depending on the blindness that the person has, we can classify them into various subtypes. Are you afraid of colors? Then you must probably be suffering from a kind of disorder called chromophobia because people who suffer from this disorder hate colors. For example, if you are a cyanophobic, then you hate blue, everything in blue. We have come to the conclusion part of it. Now I request you to post your comments in the comment section as what does the word or the prefix ruber means. At last, we have come to the end of it. I request you to post your comments and answers in the comment section of our channel. What do you understand by the term ruber and flavor proteins? Just break down and give us a meaning of what these terms indicate. Lastly, as said earlier, our curriculum on this basic medical coding training will also help the students who aspire to become doctors, meaning if they are going to appear for any of the NEET or the All India Pre-Medical Test Entrance Examinations. As we are dealing with human anatomy and physiology, this would definitely help students who are going to appear for the NEET exam. Biology portion alone contributes for 90 marks of NEET, so definitely our sessions on this human anatomy and physiology will definitely help them in a bigger way. So if you have any of your friends or your students or relatives, please let them know that our videos would certainly help them to a greater extent, especially and they can certainly become doctors in the future. So please share this message and I'll see you in our next class. Goodbye. Dr. Ram's Medical Coding Academy is the final destination to hone your skills. Training is imparted by the All India Topper 
of AAPC who is Certified Complaints Officer and Medical Auditor and past Speaker of Chennai Chapter. For basic medical coding, training and for certification exams like CPC, CCS, CPMA, CIC. Learn medical coding from Dr. Ram's Medical Coding Academy. You can contact us at 805-60-855-96-99-62-791072. Thanks for watching. Please watch, like and subscribe our YouTube channel.